Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and this is the Name Muso. It is the second generation of the Muso speaker. Uh, it has been redesigned to look and sound even more awesome. It is big, it is hefty, it weighs almost 25 pounds, it is solid, it is a vibration resistant cabinet, which all contributes to incredible sound quality. And it looks great. You can even get different grills for the front in different colors if you wanna customize it for your living room. As far as sound goes, there is a ton of power built in, 450 watts total, that's 75 watts per speaker. There are two one inch silk dome tweeters, two two and a half inch mid-range speakers, and two five and a quarter by three inch oval woofers. All of that contributes to a full spectrum of beautiful sound. It is a wireless music system, which means you get your music into it wirelessly most of the time. You can do that with Apple AirPlay 2 and Chromecast and the Name Control app, all of which will allow you to do a multi-room system. So if you have more than one of these, you can have each one as a zone and play different songs or the same song in different rooms. Pretty cool. Uh, you can, of course, also stream Spotify Connect, Tidal, internet radio stations, and more. And if you want to just connect to it via Bluetooth, you can do that as well. It's got Bluetooth 4.2, which will sound great. If you have a lot of music on your computer, you'll also be able to stream that wirelessly to the name Muso using UPnP or U Plug and Play. And that works for a lot of different music file types, like all the low res stuff like MP3s, as well as some high res stuff, including waveforms, FLAX, AIFF and ALAC files, and DSD files at 2.8 and 5.6 megahertz. So wirelessly stream high res music into this and it will sound fantastic. It is also Rune ready, which means uh, you can enhance your digital music listening experience. Instead of opening up an album art, you have a digital version of that with information about the artist, uh, lyrics for the songs, tour dates. Rune is a pretty cool feature and this is Rune ready. The Muso also has some hardwired inputs uh, right over here under the side, including an HDMI input with audio return channel. It also has an optical input, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, and there's a USB input for use with a USB mass storage device, you know, a USB memory stick loaded up with punches of music. To control your Muso, there's a couple ways to do that. You can use the included handheld remote control. You can use the name control app on your phone, and you can talk to your Google Home Assistant and tell it to tell your name, what song to play, at what volume, track forward, track backward, that sort of stuff. But the coolest way to control it by far is right here on top with this rotary control. There is a uh, illuminated volume control as well as a uh, touch sensitive control pad that reacts to the proximity of your hand. So it lights up when you're nearby so that you can tell the name what to do. So this is the name Muso second generation. It's been redesigned to look and sound even better than before. If you have any questions on this or any wireless music system, give us a call here at Crutchfield or chat with one of our advisors online. We're here to help you get the right stuff for your house. Also, you can put comments right down below the video here on YouTube. We do look at those and we'll respond to you here. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.